Hey everyone, Dusty from NVIDIA here. I just want to give you all a quick walkthrough of the updated Live Lava demo and uh, Web UI since it's got a little more complicated. We added a uh, multimodal vector database integration and event filtering and triggers of actions and alerts and things like that. And also upgraded the VLM model to a new one called Vila. Uh, and this one's running the smallest Vila 2.7b, which comes out of the uh, MIT, HanLab, and NVIDIA with a joint collaboration that we've been working with them to, to train these uh, new models on. Uh, so with that, uh, we can start, we can like change the image query dynamically now in here. Um, just do a couple test things. See, it can still read text, even though it's a smaller 2.7 billion parameter model now, and it runs faster. <clears throat> this is on AGX over and still. And we can see essentially what it's doing with the, the multimodal vector DB is reverse image lookup on the embeddings that come out of CLIP and the VLM. So it's just able to reuse those since the, the vector DB uh, runs off of the, the same thing and essentially provides you a, a view into like what the the VLM is is seeing and we hope this this whole web UI and everything this demo will um, allow you to play around with this and um, essentially make a AI smart cameras that anyone can just program with these queries and and set things up like that and make things much easier. So what we can do with the events is set these keywords and triggers that it will then filter the output by. Like if I want to make a person detector, uh, it looks for the keyword man in the output and then triggers this um, event text that occurs and also keeps a output table that I'm going. So if I cover it up, it'll the event will end and uh, then start again. So we can do, let's change the prompts around here. This is a funny little one. So that alert text that you see in the top right there, that's just kind of a proxy for you know, hooking in your own code for avert alerts or actions or outputs um, into the uh, system or how you would integrate this into the real world from here. So next we'll cover how to add more images into the vector DB. So uh, with this element here, I've tried to add uh, tooltip text to everything so you can kind of see what goes on and um, how, to, how to do things. But in, in this element up here, you can tag the incoming image feed with tags and add new images to the vector DB. Um, so you can see now it recognized me with very high confidence and we can tag another one here of the polar bear. And now when the polar bear is in the feed, uh, it sees it higher. When I'm in the primary one in the feed, it sees me higher and you can We'll add more items here. So right now this is running on the MS Coco data set out of that previous nano DB demo that I did, but you could index this against anything. You can build your whole one from scratch if you want. The docs for running this are all on the Jetson AI lab here that you can go to and follow on your own Jetson. This will run on AGX ORIN or ORIN Nano since we have that smaller Vila model running now. So you can just go here, pull the containers, set it all up. If you want to curate your own vector DB from scratch, you can go to this Nano DB example and this will show you how you like index it over uh, a large directory of images. And then if you're curious about the code that like, actually runs all of this, go to the local LLM package in Jetson Containers GitHub, and there's more in-depth docs and lower level commands for 
doing all of this stuff. But the actual code that runs this is the video query agent, which you can see here. Um, basically, when it gets a new video frame, it puts it into the VLM. When it gets the output text from the VLM, it runs it through the event filtering. And when it also gets the image embeddings back from Clip and the VLM, it sends those to the vector database too. And then there's like a WebSocket server on the back end that does all this on the client. And all that code is in there too, actually, for changing this web UI around. It's all just like vanilla JavaScript and uh, uses Bootstrap, CSS, and other basic stuff. It's not some advanced uh, JavaScript framework or whatnot. So with that, I'll cut you guys loose on this. Have a lot of fun. There's a lot that you can do with this stuff. So, all right. Thanks so much.